click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends i welcome you all to the second video for the subject digital image processing here in this video we are going to address the second topic from the first chapter the chapter is introduction to digital image processing and the topic is origins of digital image processing nowadays we see wide applications of digital image processing but to see where exactly the digital images and the digital image processing started so in this video we are going to see a historical perspective where we see the initial applications where the digital images were used and the processing of the digital images uh, where exactly have been worked so that the applications has given something ease to the human kinds so let us begin with this particular topic that is origins of digital image processing so let us begin with the topic the topic is titled origins of digital image processing from the chapter introduction to digital image processing so the prototype of digital image processing we have already given into the first video now title is origins of digital image processing now we shall first of all address what are the initial applications where the digital images were used so very first point here we have one of the first applications of digital images was in the newspaper industry when the pictures were first sent by the submarine cable between the london and the new york so this citation we have more information is that the cable transmission is actually by the system that is bartlen cable picture transmission system and is used to be working into the early 1920s and because of this particular system whatever the time that has to be taken to cross the atlantic that was from more than a week so this system has made it possible to less than 3 hours so time of transmission of the digital data digital pictures digital images we can say has been reduced initially in 1920s by this particular system using this particular system we have the points that is specialized printing equipments coded pictures for the cable transmission and then reconstructing them at the receiving end was done here now the initial problems of improving the visual quality of early digital pictures were sometimes related to the selection of printing procedures and the description and the distribution of intensity levels so here the improvement of quality of the image is very much important and such problems we are depending on what exactly the method you select for the printing as well as how exactly the intensity levels into the digital images are distributed here so very first image that is available is given here so this image is actually a digital picture produced in 1921 from the coded tape by a telegraph printer with special type faces using that particular system here now further we have a second image that has been uh, later on taken according to the information we have this is a digital picture in 1922 from a tape perforated at the telegraph receiving terminal punched after the signals and crossed the atlantic twice so whatever the bartlett cable picture transmission system was there that was abandoned after certain duration and the new technique was used here giving such a picture here that is of digital kind we can say the pioneering one the improvements into this particular picture as compared to the previous one are of course seen here both into the tonal quality and into the resolution we can say further the early bartlett system that we have addressed with the first photograph were capable of coding the images into the five distinct levels of gray level only so this capability was increased to 15 levels as we increase the levels we can say that good resolution of image is to be obtained so by the 1929 from the five distinct levels of gray level it has been increased to 15 levels of gray level so the example picture here we have the information is it is the unretouched cable picture of generals perishing and folk transmitted in 1929 from 
London to New York my 15 tone equipment so here the tones the number of gray labels as compared to the previous two pictures are more here and that is 15 here so during this period the introduction of the system for developing a film plate via light beams that were modulated by the coded picture tape improved the reproduction process here so one more step into the digital image processing to make the things uh, uh, quite uh, easier and with the good quality has been started here so the three examples that we have seen they have just cited the involvement of the digital images but the computers were not involved into their creation so the definition into the last video for the digital image processing we have seen that is the processing of digital images by the digital computers so hence these things we cannot directly address as the digital image processing whatever the modern digital computers we use nowadays for processing these digital images this actually date back to only the 1940s with the introduction by john von neumann that we know so the first computers uh, with the powerful techniques enough to carry out the meaningful image processing task appeared in the early 1960s so the images that we have shown from 1921 22 and 1922 are actually the digital images but it is not actually the digital image processing because the digital computers are not involved if you take the definition of digital image processing to be the digital images processed by the digital computers so here we have the further application uh, with more development into the digital image processing that is from 1964 this is the first picture of the moon by the u.s space, uh, spacecraft that is ranger 7 so before launching it has uh, taken it has captured this particular image so it is before 17 minutes before the impacting the lunar surface here so as into this particular picture we see these kind of markings here so these markings are actually for the geometric corrections so this served as the basis for the improved methods used to enhance and restore the images further we can have the information that is in parallel with such applications into the space program the digital image processing has also addressed into the medical imaging so in medical imaging the very popular one is actually the ct scan what we say it is termed as computerized axial tomography cat also abbreviated as ct for computerized tomography so it actually constitute a three-dimensional rendition of the inside of the object that is going to be uh, through this particular system for imaging purpose along with this ct scan we have second application into the medical imaging that is very much popular is x-ray imaging also so this way into the origins of digital image processing we have seen the newspaper industry application the five tone of images the 15 tone of images along with the lunar image from the space program and these are the two applications into the medical imaging so further improvement as we are going to see the historical perspective of the digital image processing this has led to the applications like remote earth resources observation this can be workful for the weather prediction as well as what is the crop production that we can predict uh, the disaster management we can do with the help of remote earth resources and observations we can say in the field of astronomy the digital image processing has developed applications the weather prediction and environmental assessment that we have addressed the study of pollution patterns into the cities by the geographers is also possible by the digital image processing further restoring the blurred pictures of the archaeology which are the only uh, resource of information at those historic and the ancient times with the archaeological organizations so the blurred pictures can be restored by using the digital image processing techniques further we can have the automatic character recognition systems for the recognition purpose of the text we can say 
industrial machine vision for the product assembly and the inspection purpose the military recognizations the automatic processing of the fingerprints a biometric technique along with the screening of x-rays and the blood samples and etc so lot many applications to till date we can address for the digital image processing here so summarizing this video we started with the initial applications and ended with the recent applications so in this entire duration we can say that the continuing decline in the ratio of computer price to the performance along with the expansion of networking and the communication bandwidth via the world wide web and the internet have created an unprecedented opportunities for continued growth of digital image processing into the next video we are going to see the new topic the new topic from chapter number one that will be the applications of digital image processing the applications of digital image processing based on to the source from where we are going to capture the images that we are going to address into this particular topic so for getting such more topics and more information on to the subject digital image processing you can subscribe to ikeda channel thank you